Hello, welcome to my kitchen. I'm here because my flatmate is away, so I decided to go on a little adventure and I discovered this room. Crazy, right? And on my long trek through the corridors, I was feeling very well travelled, so hopefully that will help me because I am playing GeoGuessr. I'm gonna go on a world map and I'm gonna count it as a win if I guess the correct country, a loss if I guess the wrong country, and if I guess the wrong continent, I'm just gonna end the video. It's not worth it, it's too embarrassing. <laughs> this could be a very short video, guys. I'm allowing infinite time, moving, panning, and zooming because I'm actually a rookie. And if you don't believe me, then you can check out my last GeoGuessr video. Let's go. Oh my God, not a good start. Okay, so red soil and deserty looking places. I've heard that red soil is quite common in South Africa and places around there. I guess I'll drive to civilization. I learned that if the sun Sun is to the south then you're in the northern hemisphere and vice versa but <laughs> this this biome doesn't seem to have a son maybe it has a daughter okay got any language on this okay all right I don't know how I should feel about this how is he wearing a jumper and trousers in this heat I mean, I'm getting Africa vibes. Okay, uh, I'm not, I don't, I don't actually think South America, uh, I don't actually think South Africa anymore. But I still think it's Southern Africa, just not South Africa. Perhaps Zimbabwe or Zambia. It looked quite deserty. I don't know if this white bit on the map, I don't know if that means desert. Is this desert? I think I'm gonna go for Botswana. Okay, well, that was an awful guess, but I got it in the right continent. No points for me, but I'm still in the game. The real question is, can I get one point <laughs> before I have to end the video? I, I don't know. I'm not filled with confidence right now, not gonna lie. I feel like they have these yellow signs in Australia, although I don't think we're in Australia. Okay, Spanish or Portuguese, not gonna lie, I still can't really tell the difference. Pa, 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 Great. <laughs> Literally nothing on the vans. Nothing on the shops. There's just no language anywhere. La energia de vivia. Kind of sounds French, not gonna lie. What? I'm convinced we're speaking Spanish at least. <laughs> Got a whole market going on. Okay, well, I think somewhere in South America, but where exactly? It's anyone's guess. <laughs> Perhaps I'll go Bolivia. Yeah. <laughs> okay, wrong country, same continent. I'm still in the game. Still on zero points. Next. Ooh, that's interesting. Why do they blur the murals though? Is this of a political figure or someone iconic, maybe religious? I don't know. Because if it's just a random person's face, then why would you need to blur it? Unless AI was used and they just blurred everything that was recognized as a face. Does this count as a face? The thing is, I feel like we're speaking Spanish, which makes me feel like South America, but I have to be careful that it's not Mexico because then I'm out. This person wasn't blurred. Does that count as blurring? I don't know. I mean, it looks pretty cool here to be fair. Okay, 
I don't know what CD stands for, but MX could be Mexico. It's not the end of a website or anything like that, so it's a bit of a risk, but I think I'm gonna go for Mexico. I'm gonna go for Mexico City just because it's the capital. Good guess. Oh, I got a point. Oh, nice, I forgot. Okay, well. These stars suggest European. Obviously it's not the full circle, so it's not the European flag or anything, but it is kind of a similar style. I feel like we're somewhere famous that I just don't recognize. And I'm getting French vibes. Take it back, Spanish vibes. Ah. Oh. Do I think we're in Spain or do I think we're in somewhere in South America? Can I get onto the speed road? Can I literally just walk around this football club? Is this even football? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, definitely Spanish vibes anyway. Maybe Portuguese then, there's the Brazilian flag. I'm gonna, I am gonna go for Brazil then. I'm gonna go for Brazil. <laughs> Thank goodness I saw that, otherwise I would have lost. I'll go Rio de Janeiro. Porto Alguire. Porto Algui? Definitely the right pronunciation. Second point. Nice. I'm gonna try and make it to five points. I'll be happy if I make it to five points. I mean, again, lots of Spanish, but the fact that it's in dollars is making me think it might be Mexico. The thing is, European countries are so easy because all you have to do is identify the language and then you pretty much know one, it must be one of one or two countries. French in France, German in Germany and Austria, Dutch in the Netherlands and that's it. It's so much easier than Spanish speaking countries that are all over the goddamn planet. <laughs> Spain obviously pays in euros, and I know that some South American countries pay in their own currencies, but I think Mexico is dollars, Mexican dollars. Mercado. Sounds like Mexico, right? <laughs> okay, I'll try to find one more piece of writing and then I will guess Mexico, unless that suggests otherwise. Is that a yellow car? Yellow car touch. I don't, oh, I don't know, I don't really want to guess Mexico somehow, but I think I will. I think I will purely because of the dollar signs. I don't think it's Mexico City either. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh no, what have I done? Well, I guess that's that then.